And Lisa, this is something we've been covering from back in January when conversations about some sort of ceasefire resolution started. We do have to say that it is so clear with this issue that a lot of people in different communities feel that one person doesn't speak for everyone. So yes, a lot of people have a lot of thoughts about this, but Mayor Daryl Steinberg, he's still here inside Old City Hall just cleared out. We just had a secured press conference just with media, with the mayor and supporters of this resolution so that he could essentially make his voice heard. He said he believes this ceasefire resolution is a true compromise. Take a listen. Gather here today, Muslims, Palestinians, and Jews, all proud Sacramentans with an age old message. We are not at war in our community. We must try harder to talk to each other we must try harder to heal each other. We must try harder to reach across the uncomfortable divide. We must try harder to take risks for peace, especially in our own community. Nothing in this resolution that we will present tonight, that I will present tonight, pretends to solve the war in the Middle East. This is about Sacramento. All our people, and especially the people with loved ones who have died and suffered in Gaza and in Israel. And it is powerful. Mayor Steinberg himself, he is a Jewish man. He is a leader in Sacramento's Jewish community as well. And standing behind him were members of the Muslim, American, Islamic, and Palestinian. All these different groups were standing behind him, including leaders with the Jewish community. But I do want to say, just before this press conference, I had a one-on-one -on -one interview with Councilwoman Lisa Kaplan. She herself is a Jewish woman, and she said she does not agree with this resolution. She said she doesn't believe it's city business to be creating a resolution on international conflict. She also has serious concerns this could lead to more anti-Semitism and that the language within itself is very concerning, according to her. Take a listen. Um, there is a provision in the resolution that does denounce uh, rape and violence as a means of war. What was given to the mayor was denouncing Hamas using rape and violence. And as a victim of domestic violence and sexual violence, it is horrifically upsetting that once again, victims have to prove what happened to them. Universally, when women come out and say, I was raped, we have to prove it. No one believes us. So why is it so bad to denounce Hamas? And that is just a snippet from our one-on-one -on -one interview with Councilmember Kaplan. You'll hear more from her coming up at 6 o'clock. Just moments ago, the mayor left, police left. We can tell you this press conference here in Old City Council, it was heavily guarded by Sacramento police. It was closed off to the public. It is really clear that safety is a concern leading up to that 5 o'clock City Council meeting tonight. We're live inside Old City Council Chambers. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Well, and Brittany, we heard while the mayor was talking today, there was a disruption. Tell us about that. What happened? Absolutely. And, and it was really curious about how this man had gotten in because this, again, was very secure. Police were watching as everyone came in. It was really only media and supporters of this resolution. It was a man wearing a NorCal Resist shirt, and he was having very intense conversations with members of CARE, with members of the Palestinian and Muslim communities. He was saying, you don't stand for me here. This isn't what I believe in. And then as the mayor was trying to speak within that press conference, he was saying, you know, I, are you seeing more changes in this resolution? Will you hear my changes? Some of these people don't stand for me. So it, it is clear within the Jewish community, within the Muslim community, there are clear divisions in this. The mayor responding, letting that man speak, but really saying uh, the point in his opinion of this resolution is to find some common ground. So that disruption that we saw, that back and forth throughout this afternoon, uh, I do feel is kind of a preview of what we're going to see starting at 5 o'clock. All right, we'll see you at 5. Brittany Hope live for us in Sacramento.